Alright, so Wi-Fi 6 routers are being mentioned a lot recently for the past year or so. And this right here is TP-Link's very own Wi-Fi 6 router, the Archer AX55. Here is the box it comes packaged in. On the front is shown the router itself along with key specs such as up to 3 gigabits per second speeds, 4 high performance antennas and so on. On the left side, it goes over the features in more details, as well as the specs. On the right, it lists the items inside the box, as well as mentioning the TP-Link Tether app. On the bottom is some technical boring stuff, which no one wants to read. The back is where the juicy graphics are. It shows the benefits of having Wi-Fi 6. It mentions TP-Link Home Shield, Whole Home Wi-Fi, WPA3 security, and more. Nothing much at the top, just the TP-Link logo and the 3 year warranty. Alright, opening the plastic wrap now. Now remember this is not a modem, this only accepts one ethernet input. So if you don't have a modem, you best get yourself one. On the top you'll find lots of tiny leaflets, pause the video if you want to read it, and more leaflets. Then you've got the quick start guide. Putting that all aside, here is the router itself. Put it for the side for now. This is the power cable for the router. And lastly the RJ45 grey ethernet cable. Back to the router, let me open the packaging real quick. These are the 4 high performance adjustable antennas. The router design itself is quite nice, it has different angles of lines and it looks very similar to the AX50 but this AX55 has subtle differences. This router overall has good build quality, is sturdy and it doesn't flex when you press on it like some other routers I've tested in the past. The back of the AX55, it houses the WPS button and the reset button, the USB 3.0 port, WAN port and 4 LAN ports and a power button which is always nice to have on a router. By the way, taking off the plastic from the antennas was moderately a struggle. I'd wish they used softer, breakable plastics. The AX55 is fairly a new router, which has been out for a few months. It's a dual band router, so you'll get up to 574 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz, and on 5 gigahertz you'll get 2402 megabits per second. The heart in this router is a dual core Qualcomm chipset along with 512 megabyte of RAM. This router does support TP-Link's one mesh system. As mentioned before, this has Wi-Fi 6 so depending on your environment you might get faster speeds and less lag. The AX55 supports OFDMA which means multiple devices can share one band all at the same time which should reduce latency. And since it has Wi-Fi 6, it has a feature called target wake time, which allows compatible devices to consume less power when connected to Wi-Fi 6. The 5 GHz band has doubled the bandwidth with 160 MHz channel support. The AX55 remains relatively cool thanks to the good airflow and a large heatsink. As mentioned before, this has 4 high performance antennas and it's time to put it to the test. I'm going to compare the signal strength and the speeds compared to my BT Smart Hub 2. And bear in mind that router is a more expensive £200 router.
keep in mind this isn't a controlled scientific test, this is just to get a general idea. To quickly summarize the results, in some rooms the AX55 has similar speeds on the 2.4GHz to the Smart Hub 2. In other rooms the Smart Hub 2 just gets slightly higher speeds. I feel like the 2.4GHz band could get a bit more speed, however the 5GHz band speeds are of course fast, stable and reliable. Bear in mind the AX55 is £140 and my Smart Hub 2 cost around £200. So I'm well satisfied with the AX55's uh, speed and performance. By the way, I had to switch my speed test app halfway through the test because Ubiquiti's Wi-Fi Man speed test app suddenly just stopped working halfway through the test, I don't know why. To control this router, you can either use the LAN IP address which is 192.168.0.1 0 .1, I think or you can use the tether app. With the tether app you can customize home shield and here you can scan for network security and network performance. You can manage parental controls here, you can add blocked websites, filter out content like gambling, adult content, games and things like that. The filter content is very customizable and there's also a bedtime feature. The features time limits and off time are locked behind the home shield subscription which is sad to see because my Smart Hub 2 has these features as standard. The real time protection and reports feature are also locked behind the subscription. I'm not really a fan of subscriptions so I'll just leave it as it is. You are able to turn off the LED status lights or you can schedule them to turn off I don't know during the night if you want which is very nice to have. Now this router does have QoS which is quality of service. You can set device priority levels so your phone could be at the top and your old uh, PC could be at the bottom to get the lowest speeds possible. However I'm very disappointed that this does not have bandwidth control. QoS and bandwidth controls are two completely different things. TP-Link is slowly phasing out bandwidth control on their new routers which is very sad to see in favour of QoS. Although the Tether app is nice, I still prefer to use the web browser as, it, as you can customise the advanced settings. And to be fair, the website is kind of optimised for mobile devices so it's actually pleasant to use rather than the app. TP-Link does mention that this router is Alexa compatible so you can use Alexa commands to control this router. To conclude, the TP-Link Archer AX55 is a really handy Wi-Fi 6 router. If you're still on Wi-Fi 4 or Wi-Fi 5 and you're looking for a reasonably priced Wi-Fi 6 router, I'll definitely recommend the Archer AX55. Thank you to TP-Link for making this video possible and no this does not change my review in any way. If you enjoyed this video then consider liking this video and if you enjoy my tech content then of course consider subscribing. If you've got any questions about this router then let me know down in the comments below I'd be more than happy to answer. And that's all for today, see you in the next video.